Hello friends, welcome to my channel Simple Gardening. Hope all is well. Today in this video I am going to explain about a special category of organic farming that is using traps to control pests or insects in your garden or else in your agriculture fields. Amongst the different methods of organic farming we follow day to day in our life, using traps in our gardens is one of the safest and the most economical methods in controlling the crop damaging pests. As a matter of fact, if we use traps in our garden, 90 to 95 percent of pests is controlled and it's not required to go for any type of chemical sprayings or else organic sprayings. So, there are different types of traps which are specific to certain type of insects which are very commonly observed in our gardens. So today as a home gardener, I would like to discuss about two types of traps which I have used in my garden. One is the yellow sticky trap and the second one is the pheromone trap. Let's go in detail about these traps. Yellow sticky traps. These are specially designed for trapping flying plant pests by attracting them with their color. As the name says, these traps are yellow in color. These are ideal for outdoor plants and these traps widely capture flying pests like aphids, leaf miners, white flies, thrips, black flies, etc. These traps are non-toxic and are very effective in monitoring and controlling the population of sucking pests. The second type of trap I used is the pheromone trap. Pheromones are natural chemicals produced by insects in order to communicate or else attract the opposite gender to mate and to produce its offsprings. These pheromone traps only attract the male insects but it will not kill the insect which is being trapped in, in this cover. There are different types of pheromones for every individual species of pest. Here I have used a lure, a pheromone trap for attracting Spodoptera pest. It is also called as tobacco caterpillar. It is a very major pest on vegetables. And there are different types of traps for different types of pests like for pot borer, for pink ballworm, diamond back moth, etc. Now here you can see there is a plastic tube. This is called as a lure. And this lure is being coated with the pheromone chemical of a female Spodoptera insect. And always remember, these traps attract only adult insects, but not the larvae or, or else caterpillar. So, we have to take the pheromone plate, the trap plate, and we need to attach with the narrow end lure onto the point which has been given onto the plate so that it fits well. You can see here like this. So you have to just fix it into the attachment given over there. And this plate need to be attached into the three uh, structures given over here. And it is very easy to fix and these lures will attract male adults for a period of 40 to 45 days. Once you have inserted the lure onto the plate and the plate need to be fixed onto the funnel trap which I, have, which I am showing the green one and this funnel trap is attached with a plastic cover with a opening towards the end and this cover is coated with a non-toxic powder maybe something like a borax powder which is uh, used which which will be very helpful for the pest which is being trapped not to escape outside so we need to tie this trap to a stick which is being placed in your container or else in your field or else in your garden and the most important thing we need to remember is we need to tie the open end of the cover with a thread so that the trapped pest will not be escaping through this opening and the recommended dosage or else the recommended pheromone traps for an acre of field is a minimum of five traps need to be placed in a zigzag manner in a field. If it is for a container gardening or else for a home garden, depending upon the size, you can use from two traps till five or six traps. 
as many as straps you can use it if the pest population is very high then you can use more number of traps here in my garden i have used only two traps two to three traps and now let us discuss about the yellow sticky traps as i said these yellow sticky traps attract the sucking pest and this is non toxic and it attracts majority of the sucking pest which damage the plants these yellow sticky traps do not get dried to sun or wind and is water resistant and the best thing about these traps are they do not attract honey bees or bumble bees now let us see how these traps are working out in my garden here you can see some adult insects of sporoptera so called tobacco caterpillar in this cover you have to remember these are alive so we need to savage them before removing the thread which we have tied to the end of the cover as you can see here there are lot of insects almost you can see here so i have savaged the insects before opening the thread otherwise even after two or three days being trapped in this cover once you open before savaging the insect they will fly off and it's it's a it's a wastage you can see here almost 25 to 30 adult insects has been trapped in a single pheromone trap if i did not erect these pheromone traps these adults will mate and the female insect will come and lay eggs on my vegetable plants and the eggs will hatch and the larvae comes out and it, it will completely eat away my plants so the logic here is that pheromone traps attracts the male adult insect so there will be no copulation between the adult and the female so the female will not lay eggs even if it lay eggs they are infertile and they will not hatch into larvae thus it will control the population and it will help the garden from pest damage coming to the yellow sticky trap you can see a lot of sucking pest being trapped down to the sticky substance by these traps you can control a lot of sucking pest population in your garden the recommended number of traps to be erected in a field of 1 acre is a minimum of 8 and for a garden you can place a minimum of 2 or 3 depending upon the size of your garden so friends that's it for this video and i recommend you to use these traps in your garden so that the number of sprayings you used to control the pest will be reduced drastically and if you like this video kindly give me a thumbs up and like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and have a nice day